Hello, and welcome to DRQ. I'm here at the Bingham Canyon Open Pit Copper Mine. It is the largest man-made excavation in the world. And this is a 25 millimeter cube of pure copper. It weighs about 146 grams. It's a fairly heavy element, but it's not the heaviest. So, what is the heaviest element? In this video, I'm going to discuss the heaviest stable elements in terms of density. This is my table of elements that I use periodically. Obviously, I'm not going to talk about every single element, so I've chosen just a few. Normally, I would say aluminum, but this is definitely aluminium. The reason I can tell is because it has two eyes that can look directly into your soul. It's the whitest of all metals, and is one of the most abundant elements on Earth. I'm sure you've had lots of experience with aluminium. And I'll make sure to spin these cubes around at different angles so you can get a good view. Let's see, next is titanium. The credit card companies have been lying to you. Titanium isn't worth very much, but it is light and strong, so it has many applications. And I'll put Mr. Ty back down. These weights are made out of iron. They feel pretty heavy, but iron isn't as heavy as you might think. <coughs> Here is iron. Es un poco de fe. Mr. Fee here is the Goldilocks of elements. Not too heavy, not too light, just right in the middle. Iron reacts with oxygen and eventually turns to rust. If you don't believe me, just look at Mars. And I'll put Mr. Iron Man back down. Copper. Copper is the only red metal, and it's so pretty. I showed this one to you earlier. Copper reacts with oxygen and eventually turns green, just like the Statue of Liberty, and is the reason why I'm wearing gloves. It also reacts to the oils in your fingers and creates permanent stains. It's not toxic, I just want to keep it looking nice. In fact, none of these elements are toxic, and are safe to handle with your bare hands. And copper has been used to make things for thousands of years. Brass, bronze, pennies... Actually, American pennies are mostly zinc. Swallow 425 pennies and you'll die of zinc poisoning. Elements mined here are copper, silver, gold, and molybdenum. Molybdenum. I think I got that right. A name actually comes from ancient Greek, meaning lead. Besides being the answer to the universe, molybdenum is used in steel alloys. It weighs about the same as silver. And I'll put Molly back down. She's a little heavy. Some sort of glandular problem, I guess. Tungsten here weighs about the same as gold, and I wish you could feel it. It's very heavy. There's a video on YouTube on the Hacksmith channel where they made a replica of Thor's hammer made out of tungsten, and it's very entertaining to watch them try to lift it. Should be a good view for you. I'll put this down before I drop it, or my arm falls off. The next one up is osmium. You might think that Dorothy found it over the rainbow, and it's possible because it's very rare and very expensive. So I don't have a cube, but I do have this. It is a one gram sample. Pure metallic osmium is harmless, but when it reacts with oxygen, it forms osmium tetroxide, which is very toxic. So, it's staying inside the plastic bag, inside the plastic container, inside the plastic bag, just in case. It is 22.59 grams per cubic centimeter, which is just a tiny bit heavier than iridium, which means that osmium here is the heaviest stable element in terms of density. There are links in the description if you wish to learn more about anything discussed in this video. I got these cubes from Luciteria Science. They are not a sponsor, 
I just really like what they're doing. I'll provide a link to their website in the description. Thank you for watching, and see you later.